Okay, so what we need to do before we start doing anything else, make sure that the company settings are set up properly. So we're just going to edit this information and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. So to edit your company settings, all you need to do is click the gear icon here on the top right, click accounts and settings. And the first thing we're going to change is obviously the company name. The name is correct. The business number, this is a Canadian thing. So we'll just leave that blank for now. Tax form, we are a sole proprietorship. So if you're not a corporation or a partnership and you're just freelancing and starting out, you're going to be a sole proprietorship. Click save. Um, we just put a random number here, and then you can edit this and add your company address. We will just put a random address here, let's say 35, um, Brick Road, Toronto, and then let's put M6G. Four, a nine, whatever. Just a random number. And then next, we have to go into billing and subscription just to check this out. So, haven't put our credit card yet. That's why um, it says trial and it says end in thirty one days. Go into sales preferred invoice term. So this is basically how long you're going to give your customers before they pay you. So usually people give their customers 30 days. And so this is why it says net 30. If you want to change it, you could change it due on receipt if you want your money paid on the same day or net 15 if you're going to give 15 days to pay it. I like to do net 15 and just click save. That's fine. Let's go into the sales form and content. Okay, so this is what you're going to be sending your clients. This is what it will say on the invoice. So here's your invoice. We appreciate your prompt payment. Have a great day. Victorious. Oops, there's a typo there. We should change the name here. Um, virtual assistant services same as company names save and that should change the name here great so if you want a copy of the invoices that you're sending your clients to be sent to your email click email me a copy but if you don't want to it's fine just click save and really advanced is what you want to go into. And so first month of fiscal year, it says January. So fiscal year is basically the year of your business. Some businesses don't follow the calendar year, which is January, December. Sometimes um, business year ends are in June. Um, so just make sure that this is correct. So for sole proprietors, they have to follow the calendar key calendar year here in Canada. So we're just going to leave this as January, same as fiscal year, and then accounting method of tool, save, again, tax form, so proprietorship, you don't need to mess with this, you don't need to mess with this. We only, our home currency is Canadian dollar and we're only using one currency. We are not on multi-currency and we're going to change the format to month, day, year. I don't like day, month, year. So that's just me. It's just personal property. Just hit save. And that's it. That's your company settings. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books. Now, if you have any questions, 
please feel free to comment down below and ask me your questions and I'll try my best to respond to them. Have a great day guys. Bye.